I was told when I sort of started breaking America to not mention I was an atheist. Really? Oh, because the first thing I did. I never... <laughs> First thing I did. Why? What? What am I going to lose? Imagine, imagine not doing something because people hate you because of what you are. It's the Book of Noah, the children's edition. Um, I actually got this awarded to me when I used to go to Sunday school every week. I believed in all this till I was eight. Um, <laughs> St Agnes Sunday School, presented to Ricky Gervais, R I double K I. Like a fucking mongoose, right? <laughs> for regular attendance. Not even for being good at anything, just for turning up, right? <laughs> He's always here, give him a prize, he'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. I want you to take two of every kind of animal with you into the ark. Two lions, two tigers, two elephants, and so on. <laughs> uh, I, I like to, uh... I like to talk about science and stuff, and sometimes facts annoy people. And, and the facts that pe people, creationists who believe the Earth is like 5,000 years old. 6,000 years old. Sorry. sorry, sorry, my bad, right? <laughs> I like to say things like, happy birthday, Earth, 4.6 billion years old today, okay? Yes. There's still a thing about, I better not say I'm an atheist, it'll annoy my mum or dad or granddad or school. There's still that. So you do that. Some of it I do it as an intellectual pursuit, because someone asked me a question, I'd rather give the right answer than the wrong answer. I'd rather tell the truth than lie, because it's easier, you know? I think the big thing, people think I run into churches and go, it's all fucking bollocks! <laughs> I, do, I, I, I don't, I don't care, you know? I don't, I, um, but if I'm asked, if I believe in God, I'll say no, I mean, you know. Then God bent the bow of his anger and the rain came flooding down, covering the earth with water. It rained for 40 days and nights. The flood water rose higher and higher until it covered the tops of the highest mountains. Every living thing was drowned except Noah and the animals in the ark. And the fish. <laughs> you know, where did the universe come from? God made it. Which doesn't solve the problem for me. Because we straight away say, well, who made God? And if they say, well, he's always been around. Well, let's just say the universe has then. Let's just cut out the middleman. And they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. What? What isn't an act of God? If you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? That he does everything. <laughs> he's he's all-powerful and he's everywhere. He invented everything. He was a, before he was around, there was nothing. He invented time, spite, everything, OK? So he's across it all. Nothing happens by mistake. No, he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off. It's not like him going, oh, fuck, I left the oven on. That doesn't... <laughs> Someone believing in God has never bothered me. It's what do you do with it? If you start saying to me, I, I, I know, um, I love this prophet or that prophet, I love God, I'll go, good. Fine, yeah, and I do this, and I believe it. Oh, great, yeah, put it. And I think we should throw homosexuals off buildings. Well, no, I know. <laughs> you know, I read the stories in the New Testament about what yeah. I thought it was brilliant, brilliant bloke. Like, that's the way to be. Like, be like, be like Jesus, you know. And I remember I was doing the Bible studies and stuff, and my brother Bob came in, who was eleven years older than me, so he was about nineteen, and he just went, um, "Why do you believe in God?" And my mum went, "Bob." And I knew she was trying to shut him up. And, I, I, and that was all that happened. This is atheism in a nutshell. You say, um, uh, there's a God. I say, can you prove that? You say, no. I say, I don't believe you then. Mm -hmm. So um, you believe in one God, I assume? Uh, in three persons, but go ahead. OK, so you believe, <laughs> OK. Mm -hmm. So, but there, there are about 3,000 to choose from that have been, you know, people who believe in I've the I've done time. some reading, yeah. OK, yeah. so. <laughs> So basically, you believe in, you, you, you deny one less God than I do. You don't believe in 2,999 gods, uh -huh. and I don't believe in just one more. Right. <laughs> you know, they, they do it for, for good reason, I, I think. And um, religion's greatest trick wasn't making people some believe there, there was a God. It was, it was telling you you shouldn't ever ridicule the idea that it was sacred. To, to, uh, to question this dogma, and of course it's not. Now I wanted to study that scenario. OK, so, God is angry with mankind. He's fed up with them, they're wicked, right? He's going to wipe them out. 
and just start again with Noah and his wife. He's angry with the animals too, for some reason. I don't... <laughs> so, two of it. So, two, two animals on the ark at the moment. Ten million more animals to go. Ten million more of those, okay? Ten million of them to get on there. Just two on there at the moment. <laughs> Look how much room they're already taking up. <laughs> It's at a third capacity. <laughs> What's it going to be like on there when these two fat cunts get on? The thought of death is very final for you. For me, yeah. as a good Irish Catholic boy, it's the start of something new and glorious. For you, that's it. And for me, it's the end of something glorious. So I have to pack <laughs> it all in. But, you know, I... I, I'm, I'm not depressed about it. I, I don't want to die any more than anyone else. And I think there's this strange myth that atheists have nothing to live for. It's the opposite. We have nothing to die for. You have we more ha to live for. We because... have everything to live for. Yeah. All women become like their mothers. That is their tragedy. No man does. That is his. That sounds a bit gay to me. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Give me another go, isn't it, one? I couldn't help it. I can resist everything except temptation. That sounds gay as well. <laughs> I want to start that with an ooh. I want to go, oh, I couldn't help it, you know? Oh. <laughs> and I want to end it with, I can resist everything except temptation. Chance to be a fine thing. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> if you say I don't know, you're an idiot. What you don't know, if you believe or not. And I had this discussion with someone um, on Twitter, actually. And he said, well, that's not true, because I can ask you, am I wearing a red jumper? And you have no way of informing your guess, and that's true. But now ask me if you're wearing a red jumper that created the universe. Now I can have a little guess. <laughs> no. Your science won't help you. Wow, it will. And it's helping him because he's texting up to a satellite and down to me, so it's sort of helping him. <laughs> your science won't help you when Satan of course he believes in Satan, why wouldn't he? Sure. He believes God made the earth in six days. It's like you're going to go, do you believe in Satan? He's going to go, nah, that's a bit irrational. You know? <laughs> your science won't help you when Satan is raping your British ass. <laughs> He's got a point. Because if I... No, he has got, he has, he has got a point. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because, because if I die and I find myself in hell being raped by Satan, Science has pretty much let me down. <laughs> so, so, this is my favourite bit. Your science won't help you when Satan is raping your British ass. I'll be laughing. So this silly <laughs> is there too. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a fundamentalist creationist who's lived his life by the Old Testament. He dies, he goes, he finds himself in hell. <laughs> He sees me being raped, he goes, huh, it cheers him up. But you must be aware that a lot of people in America would potentially find that offensive. What, because I'm saying I don't believe in God? Yeah, because you're kind of mocking them, you know. No, I'm not. I'm not mocking them. People's, people's beliefs aren't, aren't my concern at all. Um, I certainly don't um, differentiate between religions either. I look at all religions the same. Unlike religious people, I look at all religions equally. 37,000 different species of spider. I mean, millions and billions of individuals in each species. And that's just one class, arachnid, of one phylum, Arthropoda. There could be five million species of animal alive now on the Earth. Best guess, OK? And that's 1% of all animal species that have ever existed. 99% of all animal species that ever existed are now extinct. And that remaining 1% is five million strong. Take one of those species, termites. If we were to weigh every termite alive now, it would be 10 times the tonnage of every human being on Earth. And it's statistics like that that make me think that this book isn't totally accurate. <laughs> um. And it was the first time I'd heard the word atheist on kind of public radio. Well, they, they, I mean, yeah, there shouldn't even be the word, should there? If people didn't invent gods, I wouldn't have to deny them. And it's just... <laughs> if they go on saying there is a god and bad people go to hell, I'm going to help God 
send them to hell by stoning them to death. Whoa, he doesn't need your help. He's all powerful. Chill out.